My friends, welcome back to 200 3D CAD problems in FreeCAD YouTube series. Now, just in the previous video, I showed tips and tricks on how to create a technical drawing. And today, I want to continue that lesson. So let me go ahead and open the TechDraw workbench real quick. So I want to take it to a point where we did all the things and then I'll come back to show you the new tricks. So in the last video, we developed a technical drawing and then we showed all the tips and tricks with the dimensions. Today I want to show you how to write the name of these views or like these this, uh, graphics. So for example, this says view and then we, we take the points away, the, uh, the frames, that name goes away. So what I want to do is I want to click on this, come to the data tab and find the label. The label says view. That's good. Uh, I want to place a caption on that. I say 3D view. I want to I want to do that. So that way, now I will have a name under the under the image what it says. So 3D view. So that's one of the tricks I want to do on the same thing on the. So it says it's front. Actually, I'm going to say this is top and this one it says left um, yeah I, I'm, I'm good with that so say left right so we we named our views now i want to do i want to title i want to place a title of the technical drawing here the easiest way to do that is to bring in this a annotation and re relocate that as needed and double click on it double click on the default text again so, so two double clicks here and then say a colorful star or something whatever the name you want to place in there if you had a different uh, line on the on the second line you can double click on there and say developed by someone like I don't want to place my name in there because I didn't do it. So there is that. That's our title of the drawing at a suitable place. I want to do, um, so I selected that and I can come here and then update the text size to 10. So that's there. I guess if I, I could, uh, made it two lines and then kind of like I could do middle um, alignment I want to say just like that so say seven all right so now I want to align them. So that's our title of the drawing. So these are called cosmetic circles and there's some cosmetic lines. So these are some furnishing tools that we use to actually furnish the um, technical drawing. So if you'll see all these six holes are at a at a circular fashion, they're placed in a circular fashion. So I can actually take the center of the one of the so of that circle and then take one of these points and then draw a cosmetic circle. This will appear like this. So that that's saying that all these circular holes are actually on a circle. So this is cosmetic line. If you want to delete that, you can select it and then use this eraser uh, that will go away but I want to keep that 
So what I want to do is I want to select this center first and one of the points on the circle come in with a circular and then I can place a radius on that. So that makes it easier. That makes, you know, placing the dimensions pretty easy. Uh, that's also one thing that I wanted to show. Um, I wanted to actually show you how to update the parameters. I want to show you some basic parameters in there. For me, I did update my default page. So you can do that too. What uh, in your default template, you can come here in this, in this like three dots and find a suitable already built in there, say landscape or something. Right click on it and then you can open open this file with Inkscape. I can e open that with image uh, Inkscape and then update it as much as I need it and then save it there. So I did that here and then so it was the original F4 landscape black and I renamed it on my name with, with, with my customization in there. So you can do that as well. So default template in from that you can always use the default template makes things easy. And on the scale part, uh, nothing much to actually change there. Uh, if it is one, good, you can update it like, you know, every time you want. Um, dimensions, um, ISO oriented is pretty much standard. And I want you to actually pay attention to this here. It says extension gap factor ISO, it is now eight. Let me make that zero, right? And then hit OK. And then do a dimension here. Say I want to do a dimension. For example, I want to take this and take this and draw a line and say this is my dimension. And I want to make that a diameter, OK? Notice that this line started right at the center. Now it doesn't look too much weird here, but take a look at this dimension. So when I take this two point and draw a dimension line and make it final, what I want you to take a look at is this point. So there is the drawing and this is the dimension and there is no gap between them. And it sometimes um, mixes things up. If you want to fix that, if you want to put a gap in there, that's where actually this, this value extension gap factor ISO, this value makes a difference. So hover your mouse over this point and then it says normally no gap is used. So by default, your software is saying no gap will be there, so it's zero. If using a gap, which I want, maybe you want to, the recommended value is eight. So go ahead and then make it eight. Now apply it and draw another, say dimension between these two points, right? And now take a look at that. So the difference between this one and this one is like really visible. Now the dimension is a little bit off offset from the drawing and that's that's more like it. So if you want to update that, uh, I definitely want to update that and then go ahead and then do that here. If you want a bigger gap, make it 10, 15, 16, you know, but that's there. So that's one thing that I definitely want to uh, update. And then annotation, they're like, you know, uh, you, can, you can play with this. In this color, it comes with different colors. I'm good with that, but I want the transparent faces ticks on there. This makes a huge difference when actually I'm using these views in Inkscape to actually, you know, um, place them in my videos if I don't have this checked on, this empty space will be actually a white space. If
if I click that on and that will be transparent space so now if I export this in, in a uh, SVZ like scale, scale level vector graphics in Inkscape uh, or like PNG file to, to, to be like you know more uh, layman's term these faces are like transparent only the lines are being exported but if you have this one unchecked this will be all white faces so anything uh, below these lines these faces will not be visible so there that's one thing that I definitely want checked and another thing is this extension gap factor these are the two uh, parameters that I would definitely um, give like you know some trial and error see how they plays out with you I hope you enjoyed this video and this additional tips on the take draw um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments uh, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.